What up? What's going on? We're here at Orange Beach, Alabama. I'm Adam. I'm Nate. Corey. How y'all doing? I hope you're I'm good. <laughs> hold, hold the applause. All right, anyhow, we got to keep the video short. Basically, we just <clears throat> want to give y'all an update of everything that's going on. Uh, we arrived in Panama City Sunday night at around, I don't know, and we went out to the beach and it was great. Saw God's creation. Um, Fireworks. Fireworks, we really had an awesome time. Played some basketball, ate some McDonald's, um, had a good night's sleep. <laughs> uh, the next morning, we headed out to, I don't know, where were we going, Nate? We were headed to Orange Beach. And then what happened? Panama City. And then what happened? Oh, yeah, crunch. Crunch, big time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it turns out that as we were driving in the left lane, there was some imbecile. No, I'm just kidding. This some car, you know, in front they had made an abrupt stop, and everybody behind them had to make an abrupt stop, and it came to the point where people could not make an abrupt stop in time. Yeah. And so there was a crush. crunch. So yeah, uh, everybody's all right though, and now that it's a day past, we actually feel a little thankful of the event that has happened. Not because we want car accidents to happen all the time or anything, but we. Um, have learned to find the good in the event that happened, you know what I mean? Because God had originally orchestrated it for his glory anyway and for our good somehow, according to what the Word of God says. So you have to believe that. And uh, one thing that I feel it has done is definitely established a great amount of unity in the group um, because it, the, the event, um, even though the, the consequences of the event could have been much more severe, um, thank God they weren't, but because it was such a... Uh, at the time, a severe and, and um, almost dreadful, if you could say, uh, event. It taught all of us to to um, be able to care for each other um, and be there for each other when you know when Corey was hurting and even when Nate looked like he was dying for a second. <laughs> you know, the wind was <laughs> gone. Not, for not me, me. Frank, Frank's wife, Corey. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have heard about her. Um, she's doing fine. He but lost anyhow. His voice. You know, it taught us to pray for each other and, and you know, in just those times to really stay faithful. And uh, so because of that, the result is that we, all of us are closer now. And I think that it also kind of changed up um, the tone of the event, if, if that makes sense. You know, it's like instead of going on the event and just doing things by schedule and adhering to the um, things that we knew we were going to be doing, it kind of changed it up and made us or, or made us kind of have to incorporate, um, you know, different events into it, if that makes sense. Like, we, we ended up at the hospital for a long time, and we had to be able to um, bear with that and be able to, you know, um, make good out of that. So we all just kind of hung out and had a good time talking and just hanging out, and we even had discussions about theology and stuff, and um, all of us got to go in and see Corey and encourage her. So it all she came out... loopy. Yeah, she was really loopy. She had <laughs> awesome jokes. <Like> more fun. <laughs> But it all came out for the good, you know what I'm saying, for unity. And also I think it's going to cause everybody in the trip to um, be a little more solemn at the right times, you know. Um, during the preaching, I, I hope and I pray that um, we're going to take it a little more seriously now, you know what I'm saying. So, what do you think, Nate? I agree 100% with whatever you're saying. <laughs> I think we're over three minutes. So, adios. Adios. Muchachos. Goodbye.